Hello friends, today I am going to talk about latitudes and longitudes which are basically imaginary lines that divide the earth into different sections and which is very important for us to locate places on the map and to find out where we are exactly on the globe and we can also calculate the time and distance between two places with the help of latitudes and longitudes. So let's talk about latitudes first. Now latitude is a measurement of distance between two places north and south of the equator. So if you can see the globe, the equator which is 0 degrees is dividing the earth into two equal halves, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. And all the other latitudes, they are parallel to the equator from 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60 degrees, 75 to 90 degrees north and south of the equator. The equator is represented by 0 degrees and there are other important lines of latitudes like 23.5 degrees north, Tropic of Cancer, 23.5 degrees south, Tropic of Capricorn, 66.5 degrees north, Arctic Circle and 66.5 degrees south, Antarctic Circle. So as we travel from the equator towards the poles, the temperature keeps on decreasing. So why the temperature decreases? This is because at the equator, the sun's rays directly fall at 90 degrees. And as we travel towards the North Pole and the South Pole, it keeps on decreasing, becomes slanting. So the earth is slightly flattened at the two poles and it is bulging at the equator. So it's not a complete circle. So the linear distance, the distance between the two latitudes keep increasing when we travel towards the poles. So at the equator it is 68.704 miles. When we travel towards the poles it becomes 69.407 miles. So it increases. So this is very important to calculate the distance between two places on the latitudes, between the two latitudes. Which I have given an example like if you see Mumbai, the latitude of Mumbai is 18.55 degrees north. So you just have to calculate the distance between Mumbai and equator, you have to multiply by 69. So then you get the total distance between Mumbai and the equator. Let's talk about the lines of meridian that is longitudes. Now longitudes are imaginary lines that run from north to south. They lie vertically okay, and they intersect the north and south poles with the equator. So the meridian that passes from the Greenwich, England is considered to be the reference point for calculating time from the Greenwich mean time east or west of the prime meridian so this line is called as the prime meridian that passes from the center okay that passes from the greenwich so the prime meridian is at zero degree longitude divides the earth into either eastern hemisphere or the western hemisphere the earth takes one complete rotation of 24 hours and completes 360 degrees meridian so this is the entire circle consisting of 360 degrees so when it passes through 15 meridians that means it is completing one hour a one degree meridian the difference has to be four minutes so when the earth is passing over one degree it is completing four. so since the earth is rotating from west to east the countries which lie towards the east are receiving sunlight before the countries which are towards the west. So when we travel from 0 degrees to 15 degrees, the time is increasing to 1 hour. If we are traveling 15 degrees west from the prime meridian, we are deducting 1 hour. That means we are 1 hour behind the prime meridian. So when we travel towards the east, time is increased and when we travel towards the west the time is decreased so the meridian which is completely opposite of prime meridian on the other side of the earth is called anti meridian it is also called as international date line international date line is not a straight line it is a zigzag line because it only falls over the ocean okay which is at 180 degrees so that is a half circle so it is dividing the earth into eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere
Now we use this Greenwich Mean Time, that is the prime meridian time, to find out or to locate the time of any particular place on the globe. So when we travel towards the east, we just have to add hours, and when we travel towards the west, we have to deduct hours. Now if it is noon or 12 o'clock in London, 0 0.5 degrees west, from the prime meridian how do we calculate the local time of Chennai which is 80 degrees east what do we do is we have to find out the difference between the two longitudes and multiply it by 4 because the difference of 1 degrees is 4 minutes and when we calculate the total uh, time in minutes we have to convert it into hours so that is 5 hours and 20 minutes ahead of GMT because it is lying eastwards so if we calculate the time of New York which is 74 degrees west we are 4 hours 56 minutes behind London because it is lying on the western hemisphere it's very interesting to know that if the Londoners are having their lunch Indians are having their dinner and New Yorkers are having breakfast at the same time so thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video please press the like button and also subscribe to my channel